Good morning, everyone. 10 Tampa Bay Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins here on a cold Saturday morning. Lots of sunshine out there for most areas right now. We're starting to see the clouds come in from the south, and that will continue. But man, oh man, is it cold out there. Most areas at or below freezing, especially Tampa northward. Basically, it is a nice, nice start out there as far as the skies go, but it's going to be on the cold side today. Here's a live look from Tampa downtown. We're actually looking towards the south where those clouds are, and they will actually continue to push northward over the area. They're actually coming in out of the west, but that's going to give us some high clouds on and off throughout the day. 32 degrees. The dew point is 10. The wind's blowing out of the north at 10 miles per hour. That means it is feeling like 24 degrees degrees outside. 32 is the lowest we've gotten so far. The last time we were at or below 32 was January 18th of 2018. Now, hard to complain because, you know, yeah, we're at the freezing mark, but it's in the mid-20s in the northern part of the state, 58 in Key West. But look at all the single digits from Nashville to St. Louis to D.C. to Cleveland, Chicago. I mean, Cleveland and Chicago barely above zero. Uh, below zero in Iowa and Minneapolis right now. Uh, 14 below in Minot, so it's certainly not the core of the cold, but look at these numbers. Odessa, West Chase, 31 degrees. Trinity at 30. 27 right now in Zephyr Hills. Look at all these 20s in Fishhawk and Valrico and Thonona Sassa. So it's cold. Now, even at the beach, it's 35 in Clearwater, 34 in Safety Harbor, but look at Seminole coming in at 33 degrees. Certainly, it's going to be colder the further north you grow. And Brooksville and Crystal River are both at 27, 28 degrees, and you can see below freezing for most of Polk County. Now, Manatee, Sarasota, especially the beaches, we're in the mid to upper 30s, so it's not quite as cold there. The wind's not terrible, and it will stay relatively light throughout the day. I mean, we're going to keep a breeze, but not like the wind that we had yesterday. So the feels like temperature with the wind the way it is right now feels like 20 in Brooksville, 23 in Lakeland. And in the Tampa metro area, those wind chills are generally all in the 20s, except for you know, maybe close to 30, Luke's Riverview holiday. Uh, so, yeah, very, very cold out there. Now, if you're out early this morning, because warmer air has more pressure, like in your tires, you may start the car and you may get that light to pop on. So keep that in mind. It's probably because your, your tire pressure was close to where it should be. And then with every 10 degree drop, you lose one to two PSI. So that check tire pressure light is likely going to come on for some of you uh, first thing this morning. Just add a little bit of air. That's all you really need to do. Uh, iguanas are falling. They'll be falling in South Florida. There will especially be some spots, uh, you know, up towards West Palm, those areas. Because it gets below 50, uh, they start to get sluggish. Below 40, there's some spots that will get below 40. Uh, and that's when they start to become cold stunned. They won't die usually. Usually they just, uh, they're cold-blooded, right? So they got to wait for it to warm back up. So you, you can see these clouds that are off towards the west. These we have to watch uh, just move to the south. These high clouds, the brighter ones, they will stream in from the west-southwest. And those are the clouds I'm talking about uh, for today. So do expect clouds to thicken up just a little bit. And you can see that on our forecast model here. Not be quite that thick, but certainly filtered sunshine and then cloudy at times throughout the day. And then that goes out through tomorrow afternoon as well, too. Tomorrow we will see more sunshine. Not expecting any precipitation. So here's the forecast, mid 40s. That is it today. With more clouds around than sunshine, if you like the sun, get out this morning. You'll enjoy it. Tonight, another cold night. In fact, just as cold for most areas, down to around 31 degrees. Uh, we will have some high clouds, and that will help us stay just a touch warmer. Otherwise, the bottom would have dropped out. We're talking temperatures right around the freezing mark again for tomorrow morning. This is your Sunday morning wake-up temps. So if you protected the pets and plants and all that stuff, you need to do it again tonight. So Christmas morning, we're thinking around 32 degrees. Here are the top five coldest Christmas mornings. We're going to be top five. Uh, we're going to bump out 1995, it looks like. And we'll be close to getting top four. So we'll keep an eye on that for you. But yeah, this, this doesn't happen very often for us. Sunday does warm a touch, not by much. We're still going mid to upper 40s. Still going to keep... Some clouds around, but we'll have a little bit more sunshine, especially by the afternoon. Then Monday morning, here we go. Look at that above freezing most areas right around the Tampa area, but still northern Pasco, Hernando, and Citrus County will be below freezing for many locations. But the warm up is beginning as we get into Tuesday morning. I mean, most areas uh, in the upper 30s to low 40s. So certainly going to start that warming trend. 
So if you did protect plants, as I mentioned, don't forget to do it again for tonight. Now, the sun's out, and we're going to start warming up here, especially after about 9 o'clock. Get those covers off. You don't need those all day. You don't want to get too hot. Uh, but you do want to put those things right back on as we get into tonight. Keep, keep an eye on those pets as well. So here's the warming trend as we go through the next several days. It's Monday into Tuesday. Look at that East Coast warming trend by Wednesday. I mean, they're going to go from well below with lots of wind and wind chills to well above melting all that snow. And by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, look at that, all the way up into Canada. I mean, it's going to be really, really warm. That means for us, we're going to be back near 80. I mean, hey, it's Florida. That's what happens here, right? We have winter, but well, we have like two or three days of it, and then the rest of the, our regular weather comes back. And that's what's going to happen. 63 by Tuesday, 70s by Wednesday, close to 80 by Friday through the upcoming weekend. These numbers look a little warm to me, but the ballpark, certainly ballpark for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Beautiful weather ahead. Uh, temps right now, you can see the current numbers across the area. Yeah, it is a cold one. Whew. Thank goodness we live here in Florida. There's your seven day forecast. The average high this time of year is 73. The average low is 55. We're about 23 degrees below average right now. All right, guys, enjoy it. Have a great Saturday.